Hi, today I would like to make a presentation uh, with a video regarding of a pre-observations uh, with a child A. And this video is explain about the pre-observations uh, by assuming that we are using a animal toys to describe the display uh, based on the character, using the character where the observer is a crocodile, zebra and the monkey and the teacher uh, become a lion and the child A become a deer and the other animal become a pierce. During the pre-observations, uh, the deer and the other peers play together with a free play in the morning circle times. But in the initially what I can observe that the deer play alone without any active participation with the other peers together in the free play uh, as well. Then the teachers, the lions move on the free play sections and giving the, them to make a choices of a material for play and I noticed that deer choose a Lego blocks and play with alone via their own uh, way without involving or participate with uh, other peers. Instead, the other peers play uh, together with a variety of uh, materials, play materials. And when this noticed by the teachers, lion, the teachers, the lion just approach to the deer to make some interactions, but the deer become upset look uh, uh, in the hungry facial expressions and look like emotional disturbance and the deer just walk away from the uh, lego blocks without uh, the one without the one to play again and no response when the teacher asks why do one to continue play and these deers play with a doll play together with a best friends cheetah when on this play process in the doll play the tigers from the other peers try to approach to the uh, doll play there and took some clothes but on that time the deer behave to pull harshly the clothes and not allow the tiger to take so the tiger just ignore and come back to play with her other peers so what we can notice that the deer like to lead others but don't like to be leaded by others this issue happens when on their choices of uh, dresses where the cheetah like to lead the deer and the deer become upset and just quiet and move away from the door play. And after no, uh, the cheetah notice about these situations, cheetah go approach again with a uh, deer to come down but the deer become crying and aggressively took the comb and throw on facial of a cheetah. So cheetah just walk away from there and come back and interact a mingling with other tigers to play. But after a while, I noticed that the deer come down with their own self and walk again to approach with a a good friend's cheetah to, uh, and minglings again, mingling again. But on that time, when saw the cheetah, the best friends, uh, interact with other peers, the deer also feel emotional again and upset and just quiet and walk away from the doll play as well and limit the play games and sit one place and just quiet. So what we can observe that the deer doesn't like the best friend interact with others as well. So, what the final observation, pre-observation uh, is, the deers we represent as a child A, show uh, the emotional disturbance, which lead to anger. And this anger lead her with aggressive behavior and also the interactions issues. So, I think this is very significant. We have to do the play therapy for child A to identify the emotional disturbance as well do the play therapy to uh, release the aggressive in the effective way as well as to build a better uh, to form a better relationship with others so this is uh, my pre-observation videos which i explained to by the uh, animal toys toys so later on we are going for, uh, to the next sections with a uh, play therapy thank you as mentioned by Bunsi, we have identified 
I will focus for the play therapy session. So as the first stage of a play therapy session, we uh, we involved her best friend together with this child A. What we have done is, in, uh, first we asked she, we brought her to a playroom, and then we asked her to choose and play whatever she likes. It it was a free play session. So she chose few dolls to play with, and she was she started to name each dolls according to the character of her own family members such as father mother sister grandpa and she started arranging them and then uh, she arranged the grandmother and grandfather far away so when we approached and asked like why are they staying apart then she she explained to us that, that no at home they stays apart she started to put him her own emotion that is she's feeling at home in her bed play and one of the, one part the friend took herself a toy that she said it's her she put it beside the, the sister child a was really refusing to do so and she took away and then put it beside her from from that scene we have identified that she is quite possessive over the friends where she wants those friends to be only with her not to mingle around and she was also putting away the father by saying that uh, no if he is going to be staying together he's going to fight she was exploring and then uh, after a while after she had named each characters she she was going uh, she she had this playhouse and then she was saying that okay mommy is doing this and then uh my sister's doing this okay daddy is coming and daddy is fighting so from there we can see that the idea that she's having about home and the father and the mother is if he the father is going to come home if anything is going to do with the father it it was clearly evident that she doesn't like the father because of the fighting and she really don't like the man because there was one uh one toy which shows a boy and she refused to have a character for that toy, uh, for the doll, and then she just put it away. After that, they were having this role play to uh, go to a market, buy things, and then uh, cook. They were having a few role play using the dolls. So to move on to our next activity, we uh, we had this game of balloon. What I did was, I blew a balloon and then I passed it to her. And then I was telling her that this, the balloon is herself, the child A, and the air inside is the anger. Then I asked her to take out this air without opening this mouth. She started hitting, she was trying a different way to make sure the air can come out. But then, it stays. And then I started asking her, okay, other than hitting and all, what, how can we take out this air from this? Then she said, poke it. So I was telling her, this is your angry moments. If you're going to just burst it or just poke it, is it a nice way to take it up? Then she was like, no. And then I asked her to blow another balloon. And then I also uh, told her that it's not good to aggressively take this air out. At the same time, it's not good to keep it. Then she agrees to it. And then what we did, we asked her to blow another balloon. And then I was teaching her way, how can we let go the air? We can just, and then I closed. And closed, and closed. So the child A practiced that. And then she somehow got an idea of, how to control her anger and then how to release it without hurting anyone so this is our first therapy session and then we proceed with another one and irene will be explaining on that thank you hi i'm Tiu ying ying now i'm going to share about the second activity for our play therapy it is the comic strip exercise okay 
uh, I give the child a piece of drawing paper and I ask her to draw the things that she will do when she feels angry. At first, she tell me that I don't know. Then I started to share some example that we have observed, like uh, she throw the mm, the comb towards her peer. Yeah, and then she show me this. Uh, this is what she draw lah. She say this is her, and the the friend take away her car, and then she take the pencil and throw the pencil towards her friend. Mm. And another thing is she will take the car back from the friend because the car is hers and I give her another piece of paper and I ask her to draw any alternative uh, way to solve this issue yeah uh, without harming anyone then she show this to me she say she will ask the car back from the friend and then another one uh, is a cute picture she say she will uh, tell the doll tell the doll that she is angry and then tell the things to the doll yeah and then i give her a third piece of paper and i ask her to draw herself this is her a cute little girl and i arrange the paper in this way uh, with the child herself in the middle yeah and then i ask her Let's say now your friends take away your car again. So you have a choice. You can choose which way are you going to react. And I help her to examine all the consequences of the possible behavior. And fortunately, she chose this, the appropriate one. Yeah, to express the anger to her doll or to ask back the car from her friends. And then move on to the post-observation. Uh... Same as Lee, I represent the child A by this deer. Uh, and there is another character, which is Cat, the friend in the class. Yeah. So during the post-observation, everything runs quite smooth. And the deer is quite happy because she can join the activity until one incident. Okay, here comes the incident. Yeah. Uh, during the free play, the deer go to the shelf, take the door and go to the corner she just sit at the corner and play with the dog and after a while she go to the shelf again yeah here comes the cat the cat take the dog and play with the dog and then the deer get a purple dress from the shelf and go back what she saw she saw that the cat is taking her dog so um that time we are very 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 worried that the deer will throw anything to the cat again yeah so it was very lucky that the deer turned to us for just a few seconds and then walked to the cat and then she say that is mine give me back and it was good that the cat gave the dog back to deer and here end the incident yeah throughout the session we didn't notice any inappropriate behavior from the deer yeah from the child it was good and from this mini project i was quite satisfied because i uh we have successfully changed the behavior of the deer the child and yeah during the post observation she do not react inappropriately however i'm worried that it is because of us uh because we are there so maybe she she saw us and then she purposely react in that way so i just hope that she can uh, react pro properly in every single real situation in her life la. she can generalize and apply the skills and then another thing that we achieve is according to this journal play therapy uh, we did provide a safe environment for the child to express her emotion yeah this is one of the rationale of play therapy yeah and then another one is to consider new possibilities yeah uh, we did it during our second activities like the comic strip exercise yeah and then it is a great project and i appreciate all the effort and the guidance given by dr vira and dr yasmin thank you